Hey y'all, what's good, beautiful people? It's your girl Tay, and I'm here yet again with another update video. So definitely make sure you guys smash that like button, comment down below, subscribe, plus push your post notification bell button so that way anytime I upload a video, you will be notified. So quick disclaimer, y'all. Um, the kids is outside. I did close the window, but you're going to hear some children's laughter and screaming here and there. I'm just forewarning you because I don't have an office. I don't have a dedicated area for me to be able to do my videos. So we just working with what we got right now, okay? Um, moving on, let's jump right into the news. Okay, so the first thing that I want to talk about literally just came across my feet and that was my daughter going back into the room closing the door. So it says the house passes a gun control bill that raises uh, age limit bans, high capacity magazines, and more. Now, this came out 10 hours ago. It was posted by AmericanMilitaryNews.com. It says the U.S. House of Representatives passed gun control legislation late Wednesday that would raise the age to purchase cer certain semi-automatic rifles from 18 to 21. I think that they need to be older than that. That's just my personal opinion. Um, I think we need to be a little bit more close to 25, maybe 27, maybe even 30. I know some people are going to think I'm crazy, but the world is going crazy. So, um, this also bans the sale of magazines capable of carrying more than 15 rounds. The bills are unlikely to pass the Senate, however. The Protecting Our Kids Act passed the House with a vote of 223 to 204, almost entirely along party lines. Five GOP representatives voted in favor of the, of the bill. I'm sorry. Representatives Anthony Gonzalez, Fred Upton, Brian Fitzpatrick, Adam Kinzinger, and Chris Jacobs, whereas just two Democrat Democrats reps, Jared Golden and Kirk Schrader, voted against it, and I don't know why. Okay, in addition to raising the age to the purchase to purchase certain semi-automatic rifles from 18 to 21 and banning the sale of large capacity magazines, the legislation also allows local governments to issue compensation for surrendered large capacity magazines and establishes safe storage laws. Those who break safe storage requirements face $500 fines for each violation and any improperly stored firearm is subject to seizure and forfeiture, okay? America has lost more children from gun violence than any other, than any other cause. Um, House Speaker Nancy Pelosi mentioned this just recently, okay? To think that in our country, more children have died from gun violence than any other cause. Uh, these stories are tragically all too common in America today. So I'm pretty sure this has a lot to do with all of the, you know, especially the situation that just occurred in, in Uvalde, Texas. Um, I think there was another one in another state, but there's just been a lot going on. And honestly, you know, I was talking to my children about it because they thought, well, at least one of them, I haven't really spoken to all of them, but one of my daughters thought that what I was doing was actually a, um, like it was a joke. I don't, I don't know how to explain that, but they wasn't taking it serious. So I started showing them clips of the children that had survived the ordeal and, you know, let them know that this is, this is a legitimate, you know, this is a legitimate threat to the school system. Um, yeah, I put my hand up because my daughter was trying to come in. Like I said, they're outside. It has been really, really, <laughs> when I tell you guys, you have no idea how hard it is. I almost feel like, and it's not just my kids, but I almost feel like everybody in the house is almost has like this attitude towards what I'm doing right now. Like, like there's just no support, you know what I mean? But I'm just going to keep pushing through it because I support myself. It's always been that way and it's going to continue to be that day, that way until the day I am lo no longer here. So, um, getting back to the point, yeah, I shared this situation with my daughters, um, just to let them know this situation is very, very, very serious. Now, of course, I don't want them to live in fear, but I do want them to be aware. Um, and I wish that they had done something before this, considering the fact that this is not the first time that this has happened. And then we have this article by, Mitch, uh, not by, but about Mitch McConnell. Okay. So it says when it comes to the divergent legislative priorities, look no further than the hallowed halls of the United States Capitol building on one side, the democratic shared house oversight committee heard hours of anguish testimony from survivors of and experts on Americans gun violence epidemic as a part of a broader push for new gun control measures in the wake of Rob L 
Elementary School massacre in Uvalde, Texas last month. Then cast your gaze to the vaulted upper chamber of the Congress where Senate Major Minority Leader, I'm sorry, Mitch McConnell this morning threw a monotone hissy fit after the overnight arrest of an armed man outside Supreme Court Justice Brett Kavanaugh's home in which the suspect reportedly claimed he wanted to actually unalive the judge over the looming repeal of Roe versus Wade. Honey, why you got to slam the door, Nasir? Mommy's doing a video. Sorry, hold on, y'all. That was y'all internet son coming in. I keep forgetting to close the door when they're outside because they just come on in. Um, but anyways, House Democrats must pass this bill for increased protections for Supreme Court justices, and they need to do it today. No more fiddling around with this. They need to pass it today. McConnell demanded during his floor. Wait, wait, wait. Um, keep in mind here that McConnell's grandstanding ultimatum comes not only uh, after Scottish justices were already granted bolstered security following last month's leaked draft opinion on the impending Roe appeal, but it's also in response to a resoundingly successful response from the existing security already in place at Kavanaugh's home. It's like when conservatives gnosh their teeth because U.S. border officials stopped a, ma a major drug shipment from entering the country. What are you? Oh, well, okay, so the rest of this, I just want to get to the to the T of this article because this is what the title says. The title is trying to say basically that Mitch McConnell is furious because Democrats want to protect the children and step before the Scottish, or I don't know if you say that, S-C-O-T-U-S, uh, justices, okay? And of course he does. You guys already know how I feel about good old Stingy Mitch. We ain't talked about him in a while, but a lot of the stuff that he stands for, I just don't agree with, okay? Of course, we need to be protecting our children. You guys know how I feel about kids. Not just because I'm a mother, but they're children. They didn't ask to be here. Of course, none of us asked to be here. But I can at least say, and I'm pretty sure you guys would agree with me, that adults are in a completely different point in their lives where they have the ability to protect themselves a hell of a lot more than a child does. So that's why it's important to protect the children, okay? So yeah, um, the rest of this to me is just a whole bunch of fluff nonsense, okay? Um, I'm trying to see if there's anything else in here. I think you guys got the gist of it, but that's, that's pretty much all of it. Jumping uh, over to student loan repayments. They're saying it's a possibility that the uh, extended pause could be extended even further beyond August. So this was reported by CNET yesterday. It says Secretary of Education Miguel Cardona testified at a Senate subcommittee hearing on Tuesday in which he suggested a student loan moratorium extension uh, is still a possibility in a response to a question from New Hampshire Senator Jean Sh uh, Shaheen. I don't have any information now to share with you about when it would end or what the conversations are about when it's going to be lifted, Cardona said. I know we have a date and it could be extended could be extended to that, okay? Or it could be that it starts there. But what I will say is that our borrowers will have ample notice, okay? The current student loan moratorium expires on August the 31st. That means that payments are scheduled to start back September the 1st. Interest charges and required monthly student loan payments um, alike, like I said, are scheduled to start back as of September the 1st. U.S. President Joe Biden last Extended the pause in April, marking the fourth extension of the moratorium since the start of the coronavirus uh, pandemic in March of 2020. If loan payments were to resume on schedule in May, uh, uh, analysts of recent data from the Federal Reserve suggest that millions of student loan borrowers would face significant economic hardship, Biden said in April's statement. Okay, so just wanted to let you guys know, you know, I got some student loan situations going on, so I'm not in no hurry to have to give any money uh, to any of that right now. Okay, um, I think that that is pretty much it i know you guys want me to talk about emergency snap maximum benefits for the month of june i have yet to see any states being approved for the month of july which would be the next month but um i do want to go over this with you guys so let me get my paper so that i can write down any additional states that may not already be on my list okay can you go back out so i can finish can you go back out so i can finish all right, you guys, sorry about that, another interruption. But anyways, let me jump into the emergency snap maximum benefits for the month of June before another kid comes in here needing something. Um, so we have Alabama, July the 1st. 
Alaska, May 3rd through the 31st. California, July 16th and July the 23rd. Colorado, June the 6th through the 11th. Connecticut, June 16th. And then all Fridays until June is complete. Delaware, June 29th. DC regular issuance. I did just check Georgia and they're approved, but I still don't see the payout information. Let me see. Do I have Guam written down? I do not. So I'm going to check them really quick just to see if any additional information has posted on the USDA and it has. So for Guam, we have June the 17th. Okay. So I'm going to write that down really quick. Then moving on from Guam, we have Hawaii, July the 11th. Then we have Illinois, June the 21st through the 29th. Then we have Kansas, July the 15th through the 24th. Then we have Louisiana, June 4th, 11th, 18th, and 25th. Maine, June the 10th. Maryland, June the 1st through the 30th. Uh, Massachusetts, I don't have them written down, so let me see if there's any information available. Come on now, move a little bit faster. Massachusetts, we have July the 1st. Then we're moving on to Michigan. In Michigan, we have June the 11th through the 20th. And then we have New Hampshire, June the 3rd and the 17th. And then July the 3rd and the 15th. Then we have New Jersey, June the 1st through the 5th. And then I did just see New York, but I'm just going to go back to it because I don't have it written down here so that I can give you guys an information. Plus, if you guys didn't get a chance to check, I do know that there were some of you guys who were gracious enough to leave the information down below in the comment section from a previous video. But I'm going to give it to you guys now. So we have New York City, uh, June 15th through the 29th. And then the rest of the state, we have June the 6th through the 9th and then June the 12th through the 16th with benefits to be available the very next day okay and that was for new york then we have ohio let me flip it on over ohio we have june the 22nd oklahoma we have june the 10th through the 15th oregon we have june the 10th 29th and then july the 1st i don't even see oregon oh it's all the way in. okay it's just weird i'm not even gonna ask no questions um what did I end up? Oregon. We have Pennsylvania, June the 16th through the 18th, the 22nd through the 25th, the 28th through the 30th, and then the final run on August the 5th. Then we have Rhode Island at June the 3rd, which has already passed. South Carolina is going to be June the 1st through the 19th for currently approved households and then all month long for newly approved households, okay? Then we're going to move on to Texas. It's going to be June the 6th through the 10th. I know one of you guys had left a comment saying that you haven't received your benefits. Texas always releases some information saying to give it all the way until the end of the month. I don't know why that is, but I'm just encouraging you to do so. Of course, you can call the Department of Human Services or whatever that um, department is called in your particular state just to see if you can get some information about your individual circumstance, okay? But I'm just giving you the information that's here. Let me check Utah because I don't have them written down to see if there's any additional information online. It looks like there is. Hold on. Give me a moment. For Utah, we have June the 26th, okay? June the 26th for Utah. Then moving on from that, we have Virginia, June the 16th. We have, I don't know if I did North Carolina. I think I did, but if I didn't, North Carolina is June the 22nd through the 30th and July 1st. Something is going on with this system here where it's out of order, okay? Like I'm looking at Utah, Virginia, and then it goes from V to North Carolina and then to Oregon, and then it goes to Pennsylvania, Rhode Island, Texas. So that's why I'm a little bit confused right now. But um, moving on from that, Virginia, June the 16th, Washington, we have June the 2nd through the 20th, and then we have West Virginia, June the 7th and July the 13th and then we have wisconsin which is the final month uh, state on here june the 11th and august the 13th for a final run all right you guys i am absolutely stressed out and it has absolutely nothing to do with y'all but these kids honey these kids is there anybody else i know there was a couple of you that were saying that your kids are already have only been out for one day and that was on either monday or tuesday when i had posted a video and you already ready for them to go back let me tell you something I am ready to. I love my babies. Don't get me wrong. I love my babies. But when you're trying to, when you're working from home, when you're trying to do stuff here in the household, and with my kids, my kids get real, 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 real stubborn, and they don't want to do what they're told, which I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys have that same issue, but it just get real, real frustrated because I am a creature of habit, you know what I mean? And I have a routine, and when I say routine, because when I say this to certain people, they think that that means that everything has to be done at a certain time, and it's like, not necessarily. 
What I mean is I need to be able to do the things that I'm used to doing every day, regardless of the time. So if I have my mindset that I'm going to wake up and I'm going to do my, my, you know, like wash my face and I don't get a chance to do that, I get really, really irritated. And that goes for me doing my videos and anything else that I have already planned out for myself, if that makes any sense. Okay. I don't know why I went on a tangent there, but I just wanted to explain that. So it's been very, very difficult because my work schedule has been all over the place today. Um, my schedule finally changed to what it's going to be like for as long as I'm with this company pretty much. So I start at a later time and I get off at a later time, which means that I most likely will be uploading videos first thing in the morning when it's super, super, super quiet. I don't want to have to do that, you guys. But considering all of the interruptions that I have been getting in my videos and how difficult it has been for me to maintain my consistency, I think I'm going to have to sacrifice uh, 30 minutes of my sleep time to get up early and get this video out. However, you guys, as always, I hope this information was in some way helpful or useful to you guys in the least little bit. You know I absolutely love uh, providing this content for you guys, but do me a favor if you haven't already, don't forget to smash that like button uh, because it really does help to let YouTube know that you like what I'm doing and you want me to stick around. Let's drop some yellow hearts today because I need the inspiration of being bubbly and sunny because my kids got me going through one. The struggle is real. The struggle is definitely real over here, okay? Um, I can't even remember what else I want to say to you guys, to be perfectly honest. What else do I say at the end of these videos? Um, what is it? I said drop some hearts down below. Yeah, I think that was it. As always, I'm going to say remember to live, love, and elevate so I can get out of here and move on to the next portion of the rest of this evening. Hopefully, you guys are doing well where you are. Live, love, and elevate. And I will definitely see you guys in the next video. Peace, y'all. Bye.